Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Final Four: The Great War of the Ottoman Empire. Let's continue on for the last half off. So, uh, we're at war with Italy because they're trying to take Libya. Uh, they decided to land in Greece though because I have dealt with their entirety Libyan forces. Wait, did it say Serbia declared war in Italy? No, Italy joined the Balkan League. Well, that's a lot shittier than I was expecting. Um, somebody, please help me. You also, you also like Serbia and. Well, maybe I should not have, uh... Would anybody actually want to join a faction with me? I don't think so. Which puts me in a difficult spot, because I actually have no idea how this is going to play out now. War in the Balkans. Yeah. Yeah. They've already surrounded me. Um, I immediately already don't think I have a port. Yeah, no, I already do not have ways to supply these troops. That did not take long. Okay. Build a naval base right here. Crank that up to level 1. How long is that going to take? God damn it. Okay. Build it here then. Top priority. It's going to take until August 2nd. And that's assuming that they don't attack here. And that's a big what if. We're going to send a cavalry division over here. We might just lose the Balkan War immediately. Because they're just going to march right into Constantinople. Because I just was not prepared, to say the least, for this kind of invasion. Montenegro's joined the war. Yeah. Well. This has not gone very well. To say the least, this has not gone extremely well for us. So we're going to distrust the Germans. I mean, you've already marched in Constantinople. What, what more could you possibly take? Yeah, I know we lost. Okay, Italy's out of the war. But they're still in the Balkan League. So I have no idea what that's going to do for us. Because I think Italy's just going to immediately redeclare war. I hate them so much. Okay, well. At least we have a port. Um, we, we don't have Constantinople right now, but we do have a port. It's Italy, you're not just going to declare war on me again, are you? Why are you not... Oh yeah, because we technically don't have supplies to be here anymore. Yes, please leave. Don't be in Libya anymore. So we'll try to hold Thessalonica. I mean, as you can tell, there are a lot of Serbian troops... ...just around. Oh, actually, they took Thessalonica from the back. Which makes things also uh, significantly more difficult for us. Um. Well. Build a port here. It'll be done the 12th of October. Never mind, I lost that province as well. Okay, so delete, 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 delete. Green, blue army. Stretch your front line out to this. Yeah, no, this has actually just gone completely terribly, hasn't it? Did this war... No, the Republic of China is still fighting their war. But, uh... As you can tell... The Balkan War is not going as well as it could be. We're facing some uh, logistical issues, to put it mildly, right now. Will we lose our entire army?
please do not just let me live I don't know what it takes for the event to fire before it's no longer be considered in this war I mean you have every major city I don't know what else you could possibly want from us Like, you've had Constantinople for a while now. Also, these three divisions are, are completely dead. Just the worst? Please make your way to that board. If you can. Like, I'm willing to surrender to you. I, I don't know... What more you could want. Oh, you've the Band of Thessalonica. Please, take the, take the city. For the love of God, take this. You can't move. You don't have the organization to move. But you do. Take that port. Slowly let our guys get some supplies back. I mean, they're still very, very undersupplied at the moment. But, you know, try our best. So, Austria... I mean, we probably shouldn't be making enemies of Austria at the moment. Yeah, just defend that port. But also, legitimately, I have no idea what else they could possibly want from me. Like, how many territories do you need to take of mine before you realize that you've won? Like... I legitimately do not get it. I think I have to just kind of abandon this entire area. Like, I, I want... I want you to win at this point. Yes, you, you've won. Okay, take all the territory in the, in the Balkans. Unless, because Italy was at in the war... It, it doesn't actually work that way anymore. But I have legitimately no idea. Like, you've already... You've already basically killed me. I think we're, we're probably going to have to, you know, restart this one. Uh, we don't have any civilian factories because they've all been taken over. Yes, I know we are beaten. Please let me just have a country. Thank you very much. God damn it. Okay, well. Not the, the best, I will admit. But we're not dead. I, I guess that's one way to look at it. I don't know why I needed to push all the way back here for that to happen. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Also, it's not researching anything, but there's nothing to research anyway, so who cares? Summoning attack does not matter. Um, I mean, what, I'm going to just get to like the 1914 tech now because I, legit, I, I legitimately have no idea what else to even research. Bulgaria first. Serbia first. Albania exist. I know they want us to help attack Bulgaria after. Just awful. <laughs> just just the worst. Okay, what what do you want me to do? Hey Jazz, prepare military training. Sure? Apparently we're just gonna have like a massive work worker strike, which seems like a bad why now? Please do not do that. Thank you very much. So yeah, we basically just got our ass kicked. Not 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 even a question of whether we did well. We did not. 
We do some free ceiling factories. I mean, we have 16 of them, which is not very good. Good thing we built all our factories at least behind our front lines. I think we feel like we lost military factories, so I guess we'll build like a row back there. I'm just trying to make them here. No, I keep getting a 20% chance one, so I, I feel like it's a little bit biased. I guess we're going to go for the anti-Bulgarian policy because the Bulgarians are big dumb. Why would you demand more territory, Bulgaria? You basically got everything you wanted. Anti-German policy, anti-Serbian policy. I mean, I want to take territory from Bulgaria. Okay, conquests on Bulgaria. So you're trying to ally with Greece. Bulgaria's clear war on Serbia. Oh, you just went you just went first, huh? The second Balkan War has begun. And they were in, they were on top of each other's territory, which makes things a little bit strange. We'll see how that works out for them. If I can't take over Bulgaria, Romanian intervention. Well, shit, I don't think we're going to be able to take any territory from this because I think they're just going to just win. The Anti-Bulgarian League. Well, I, I guess that's fine. We'll, we'll just sit back here and, and watch as all my former territory gets destroyed by the Bulgarians. In hindsight, I probably should just let the Italians win in Libya. In hindsight, that probably was the best option. And then try to defend against Serbia, Bulgaria, and Greece. Oh, thank God the Heroes of Production actually worked. Oh, the Republic of China actually lost. Okay. The, the Qing Dynasty has not fallen. I don't know if you know that. It seems like there's only one event actually in the game. Well, yep, yeah, Bulky League Menace. So actually, I can't. I can't do this. Because Bulgaria and Serbia have fought each other too quickly. Media Bucharest. Why are you just the worst, Bulgaria? Why are you just the worst? I guess let's go for the organization. The reason I can't just sign you, even on aggression pack, can I just cancel that? Not aggression pack with everybody who is just at war with. Okay. So yeah, I can't go down this tree anymore. So I have no way to attack Serbia, unfortunately. So. Or attack Bulgaria, I should say. So I guess we'll prepare for war. And then we'll join up with the Entente. I mean, our empire is looking a little bit... Uh, shitty. Say that we are the sick man of Europe. Definitely is probably an apt comparison. I, I don't think I would disagree with you there. It hasn't been going swimmingly, to say the least. I'm surprised Greece did not take, like, this territory. Maybe they didn't, like, contribute enough. I'm not too sure. You're still reacting to the first Balkan War? Dude, you're a little bit behind on this one. So it's 19... So we got about a year until the war actually begins. Slowly just waiting for our troops to somewhat rebuild themselves as much as humanly possible. Just take 3,800 days for the... Guns be ready. And the Qing have annexed the Republic of China again. They changed color into like this weird pink. Because I'm pretty sure the mod does not think the Qing is going to win. So they keep doing this civil war event over and over again. But we'll see. We'll see how this actually works. Paramilitary in Hejaz. Do not care. I don't also care. I don't care about doing a coup. 
in Hejaz either. Just I lost so much so fast. It would it would have been yeah no in, in hindsight definitely should have let just should have just let uh, Italy win and then try to fight with the Balkans because you know we lost both in in the end didn't we? Okay, yeah, the Republic of China keeps Bo under Bob Brown keeps trying to win and yet they can't. So I'm gonna cheat. Thanks for all six to the Republic of China. There we go. Don't do it anymore, okay? We don't need this little war to keep happening five times a day. There you go. The Republic of China has won. It's fine. Now you go now you just live your life. How many troops do you have? 18 to 27? I can't we have an aggression pact, but if I didn't have an aggression pact. We can't provoke the pack until November 1916. Like, I didn't want this non-aggression pact. It was forced upon me. We can't join the Entente until... Oh, so I can just choose. Like, they don't have to invite me. It just happens automatically. Okay, well, I don't know how this is really going to effectively play out. Namely, just because, I mean, Bulgaria will eventually join the... Join the Germans. Just because that's kind of how it works. So... Reinforce Ottoman border, develop dockyards. Just. We need rubber. Can I even afford to import anything? Not really. Um, we have 12 semi factories, slowly trying to build up our military uh, complex. Because right now, it's pretty, pretty bad. Minority has a 50% bonus. And we're not worried about the, you know, the, the British invasion because, well, we are going to be joining the Entente. And maybe reclaim your rifle lands back? We'll see. I mean, mostly from Bulgaria. Annex all that. Try to save face as much as humanly possible. What's the rubber for? It's for the horse-drawn vehicles. Which I put kind of at a lower priority than everything else at the moment. Okay, so we got better... No, those better guns are a little bit too advanced. So we'll go for the early sport weapons. 200 days. Should be ready in time, roughly, for the outbreak of the First World War. Who work in addition to problems of peace? Ban democratic parties. I mean, I don't think we need to censor the press. Like, we're already pretty... We're 61% looking pretty okay. So let's get better entrenchment speed. Our army still really is not in a good position to actually fight any wars. But I feel like we could still win against the Bulgarians here. And we're probably we're probably gonna be ending up on the same side as On the same side as the Italians in a Sad twist of fate, unless they join the Central Powers, in which case we could theoretically push our way back into uh, Libya. But I'm pretty sure the AI always does the historical route. Yeah. So they're probably going to join the Entente, wherever the war begins. I mean, again, they could I was say they could theoretically do this. I mean, they could get the, the event to join the war early. I guess we need more field guns. So put like two more into that. There we go. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thank you for watching. My name is Slam. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. If you enjoyed, you can always thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.